and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 16. Now, my little friend, Calcifer, is here. Gosh, I say that and I'm like, there'll be some people that don't know the movie reference and I'm sorry, but if you don't know who Calcifer is, then your life is missing that two hour movie that I forget the name of. Sorry about that. <laughs> now, off camera. You know how I was kind of complaining, like, oh no, I can't go back or whatever. You can't really, because you can't press the usual middle button. But I did press start and I went to the map. And I went back to the hideaway. And what happened was it comes up and it says that if you leave, you lose all your progress. And I didn't really know what that meant at the time, so I did. I did all the hunts, I did whatever was left to do, because I'm kind of like, oh, is this the end? I don't know. Then, when I clicked back into this, it was like, right back at the start. And what I mean is, it was right back at the start of my last episode. So I had to redo the behemoth fight, and just that entire section to get to here. So I was a little bit bummed about that. But here we are. <laughs> Lesson learned. If it tells you that that's going to happen, then that is going to happen. It wasn't the worst. It was about 40 minutes, I would say. And I, when you're playing off camera, you don't mind too much, like, redoing that kind of stuff, you know? If you are to comprehend the full extent of your transgressions, we must go back to the beginning. When the world was still young, we visited upon it a miracle, magic, and in its light did all life flourish. for this boon would prove heavy. A pall descended upon the land, painting the horizon black as night. Though we labored to forestall its spread, in this one endeavor, we stood powerless. And so we fled, that we might endure, endure, that we might discover a means of salvation. But if it was magic that caused the blight, what of the Mother Crystals? I expect he'll tell us soon enough. This is where you find out the Ultima isn't actually bad. <laughs> I'm not saying that that's gonna be a thing. But could you imagine? I do like that we're gonna get a full backstory here though, because there is a lot of things in the plot that uh, they get a little bit confusing sometimes. And I know that I have a couple of friends that have played most Final Fantasies, and even the ones they have played, they're like, I, I don't understand the thing. <laughs> so a couple of playthroughs and you tend to get everything. Salvation, alas, was not readily to be had. First we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. An unprecedented journey lay before us. One beyond the limits of our fleshly bodies. And so we cast them off. Thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. A land as pure as driven snow. Valisthea. There would the true work begin. For the black crept yet behind us. 
and soon did we arrive at a solution, the illness having spread to every organ. There was but one escape from this fate, to start afresh. With a new world, the one for which Barnabas labored, a paradise free from the blight where his god awaits, And where, if we only forfeit our wills and abandon everything we hold dear, humanity can join him. So, Ultima would have us follow in the footsteps of the king. And follow we shall. For now. Expecting Clive to be like, what are you talking about, Joshua? I do not follow, I lead. Oh. I wasn't looking ahead, I was like looking over at all the flying rocks. So that, that kind of gave me a wee fright just then. Is this where he tries to convince us to just give up our bodies? Just to do forge it, Clive. A new world would require not only power, but a constitution strong enough to wield it. Acquiring the first would be simple. Untouched by the blight, Valisthea was replete with ether, and we had only to place jewels in her crown to claim it. Acquiring the second, however, demanded creativity. And so I cast forth the seeds of humanity. You created us. Is that not what gods do? We sowed the seeds for you, Muthos, all that you might one day blossom. And our future thus secured, we thought to slumber, though that would prove a grave mistake. For it was as we slept that man committed his greatest sin. He awoke. Alone in a world bereft of his god's radiance, he stumbled blindly, desperate for guidance. Finding no light, he sought to kindle his own, and from that single errant impulse was his will born. Having discovered himself at last, man turned his eyes inward and found he desired evermore that which only magic might afford. So wars were waged and brothers slain for custody over that dwindling resource. And the land, she wept tears of black. He would condemn us for this. Surely he cannot be so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind, just unwilling to admit the truth. Though we're one and the same. I've been saying that for a while though. That they are one and the same. And it was kind of why I couldn't understand Ultima's motives. Because I... It's, it's confusing sometimes, okay? Torgo, you tell them. You tell them what's going on here. God, it's hard to see. I've got my lighting on all around me so you guys can see me, but I... I can't see a bloody thing. Can I talk about merging? But do they want 
Torgal as well? No one's ever talked about Torgi. Be free. What's left of him? Oh, his leg! Long have our ashes lain cold for want of a spark. Cast your eyes upon them and see what you must become. Valisthea cannot endure a second claim upon her being. The avarice of man drives her ever closer to destruction. But she may yet be saved by you. It is what you were born to do. Why we nursed you and fed you as your own mother should have. Okay, she was a bitch. We don't need to go there. And now that you are fully grown, Armuthos, it is time at last for you to serve your purpose. To right your wrongs. If our sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? Well, we're changing the rules a little bit we here, okay? We ever require you, Muthos, when the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! Oh! <laughs> that is where you are mistaken. Eek! You are nothing but your precious will. He really is in control, huh? Brother. What can we do, though? If he can take us I out like that. And you don't have to. I grow weary of your descent. Now you must learn that this master will not tolerate disobedience. Oh! You look kind of cool. Come on, Joshua. I'll take the controller. You just hit him with fire. My family. We have all suffered. All fought to survive. This world may be flawed. It may be broken. But it's all we have. And if we can't share it, I see only one other choice. And we kill you, Ultima. You have to go. Yep. If you don't want to play nice, you don't get to play at all. You may have created us, Ultima. But it's time we lived on our own terms. That's what Sid wanted. This isn't your world anymore. It's us. Oh, Wasn't ready for that. Well, I kind of knew that was coming. Oh 
No one likes that move. He's gonna throw everything at me. I suppose I could do the same. this chance and still you would raise your hand against the Lord what now the darkness bends he means to end us well I mean we knew that the first time let's make it his last okay your fate is inexorable 
Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Surrender it unto us. Last? What are you talking about? That last what? <sighs> right, what is this? Ooh. It's not gonna be that easy. Just saying. At last. For countless generations have we awaited this moment. He doesn't even look hurt. Nothing. Your struggles have made you strong. Yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. Yeah, right.
Tell me, Clive. How many lives have you saved since taking my name? Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These... These are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring, all they will ever bring, is death? There's no atoning, Clive. No matter how hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? Because we're not quitters, that's why. Leave it all behind. One person that didn't say anything there, though. Clive! Please, won't somebody save me? Won't anybody love me? I yearn, yet still she is not mine. Have I not given enough? From will is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all just go away? Ultima, Just you're pretty desperate. Go away. Come on, Josh. You gotta snap him out of this crap. Clive! Clive! This is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. Clive. That's right. You're my brother. Brother. Once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Yeah, it is. Look, Ultima. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched. And the phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless... Unless... He has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest.
by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? Still talking. We're not giving up, Ultima. According to plan. Damn. Ashes to ashes. Escape the darkness. Damn it, I need. I need to plug in. Damn it, Clive. Wake up. He's okay. He's good. That's... Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave. This place. How do we get out? And once again, does my creation stray from the path laid before it? Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken. And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos, soon you will discover how little you know of suffering. Oh, come on. <laughs> this game's been one big suffer. Okay, the sky's different. So the crystals are no more. Yet in their silence, a new song rings. Its chorus building. A crescendo as it enters its final movement. Stirring those long a slumber to waking. And back to their origin. Why can't he just leave us in peace, okay?
recreating our final crystal. It's kind of cool looking though. We'll look even cooler when I destroy it. So what's gonna happen to all these little guys then? The bloody crystal's cracked. So where the hell are they? Oh fuck me. <laughs> oh Gav. Is that ether? What in good Grieger's name is going on? This is wrong. Are we back? Clive! Joshua! Jill! <laughs> Everyone all right? We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Mate! We're leaving. Now! It's interesting just how slow the enemies Everyone, are. Fall back to the ship. What, Dion? I will be with you and none. Thank you. You know, after everything that happened with Bahamut. But we trust you now, it's okay. Just get on the ship. <laughs> Thanks, Dion. Okay, okay. Um, kind of mind blown. Just a wee bit. Thought that was gonna be our final boss, but I was wrong because oh look, a new crystal. Oh, so pretty. Okay. Oh, trust me, Vivian. Girl, you are going to want to hear about this one. Is this... Tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine. And I'm going to need Otto's help. I wonder if this is when... So my friend was like, oh, you just suddenly get like a ton of marks to do. So I wonder saying anything. No. Maybe I did them all. There's not very many, though. Still alive, I see. Barely. Something tells me that eyesore on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck, then. Pretty much. I keep having this horrible, like, image that Josh isn't actually here and that he's been in my mind the entire time. Is this, this everyone? Crazy, I know. As I'm sure you've all guessed, the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin. Though the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Vanistian records. A 
to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well... The Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canva is in flames, and the Empire... Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the Curse Breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new Mother Crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the blight since the crystal's appearance, would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pulls, corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. Arche above, ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. <laughs> it's all right. When we faced I was him, all right, there, Clive. Ultima told us his true power quickens in the halls of origin. Needless to say. We cannot allow that to continue. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. <laughs> well, we start it's building a lot an airship. To take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. Well, go on, then. Mother off. <laughs> Otto is so good, isn't he? Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? Eh? Aww. Thank you. That's it. There's no point in having everybody in a room to just stress out about everything. It's just pointless, you know? Joshua seemed upset. I mean, Joshua, like, he just saw a lot. He had to bring you back, you know? Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place, where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, that may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, it won't be The easy. whole point of us getting rid of the crystals, though, was to start a new. So we knew it was going to be hard. Of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. But it will happen. And when it does, it will 
beyond our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? But first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the Founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember? Only what you must, yes? I am still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit. Your brother mentioned that some few of the Dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? Oh, we love you, Dion. My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. He has much to answer for. Well, Dion lost absolutely everything. So he's allowed a little bit of revenge. You're in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. Thank you, Dion. Right, so I'm assuming when we're in the crystal, that is the he end. He speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back. has come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to, does it, Kaif? Time to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands. God, it is. It's like we're talking to everyone and then we'll do all our missions and then we'll be coming to the end and I'm not ready, you know? I love this game. I've loved this game. I just wonder how it's gonna end. Come to wish on a star. <sighs> that might not be such a bad idea. This is it, Jill. You know what I have to do. Why well, I have to do it. There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end, for better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. Uh, I'm scared. I mean, it's it's not often that we lose main characters, you know. It's almost time. Better make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Um. Whoa. Yo, that is a lot of side stuff. I just want to check the book as well. 
One, two. Okay, so I actually, I did most of those off camera as well. That's it. We are heading out, you guys. What do I have here that's new? Oh, maybe it's just um, another stage replay. I don't want to redo that one because I already redid it. <laughs> but even Josh has a side mission there. There's just so many. I don't know if like these side missions are actually very important to show as well. Just because this is the end, I think. No. Huh. Weird. I really thought that we would have had a ton of marks or something. So we have time in this episode here today. Let's go and talk to Josh. And Torgal. Oh, Clive. Joshua, what's wrong? And don't say nothing. Uh, it's not nothing. I've received word from Cyril. The Undying have found Father's will, or something akin to it. His will. How? And where? In the crypt beneath Rosalith Castle. After Kupka was kind enough to drive out the Imperials, the Undying took the opportunity to recover what relics of the Duchy yet remained. And in the process of doing so, they found a letter from Father. I'm surprised anything survived down there. Cyril asked that I join him in Tabor at my convenience. I have been meaning to go, but... Would you join me? I mean, duh. Of course. I want to know what's in that letter as much as you do. Very well. I'm ready to leave when you are. Oh, man. A letter from dad? What the heck? Okay, speak with Cyril. Is that here or? I'm just waiting for there to be like tons of side stuff. I've been good along the way. Okay, so we've got some here. The inn. Tabor. Was it Tabor he said to go? And then Northreach as well. Was it here? I don't think it was Tabor. <laughs> I think I'm crazy. Oh, actually. Maybe it was. Your Grace. My lord, I trust your journey was not overly onerous. Cyril, you found a letter from father. Yes, I have it here. God, if it makes me cry, I'll be raging. If you would do us the honor, my lord. Okay, my beloved sons. I know that I ask much of you in this coming war, but I see no other way to secure a future for our duchy and our family. Yet even should we succeed in subduing the savages and winning back Drake's breath, the threat of the blight still looms, and only with all Rosaria striving as one might we at last overcome it. I have made plans to see us through, but such are the obstacles that stand in our way. It shall likely fall to you to continue my work. I know that you have the strength, the courage, and the will to do so. This shall be an arduous inheritance, so I offer you another, that you might be reminded of the love and the faith that I hold for both of you. An inheritance? It would seem the late Archduke penned this missive shortly before his passing. The day before we left for Phoenix Gate. What are these plans he spoke of? His plans for the duchy, your grace. Your father entrusted them to my predecessor, the former bearer of the burning quill. 
who entrusted them in turn to me. The complete emancipation of bearers is their stated aim. But your father's dream did not end there. His grace also spoke of building hospices to care for those stricken by the curse, and the founding of a new university to further the development of non-magical technologies. With the blight spreading ever more widely across the twins, Archduke Elwyn saw this as the only means of securing Rosaria's survival. He wished to see men and bearers treated as equals. To see centuries of common wisdom overturned. Small wonder he did not think it achievable within his lifetime. But he thought it achievable nonetheless. Had he not, he would never have written this message. Nor would he have entrusted his vision to his most faithful aides. Those who would have stood with you. Shielded you from the machinations of the less benevolent personages at court. It's a pity only they are still with us. Hmm. Tis true that those most loyal to your father were the first to suffer the Duchess's wrath. But one at least remains. And she has come bearing gifts. What do you mean? Mayhap it is better that she explain, my lord. After all, the duties entrusted to me by my predecessor extended only to recovering His Grace's will and arranging a meeting with the one who might execute it, or a part of it, at least. And where is this woman? She awaits you in the Archive, Your Grace. Thank you, Cyril. Shall we, then? I feel like I'm supposed to know who who he's talking about here, but I don't. Maybe I'll know when I see them. Hey, Torgi. Elwyn's aid. My lord, your grace. I hardly recognize you. I am Goditha, retainer of House Rosfield, loyal servant to the Phoenix and his shields. Your father, the Archduke Elwyn, entrusted me with the delivery of a gift. I only hope you can forgive my tardiness in bringing it to you. Lift up your head, Lady Goditha. You have our gratitude for your service to our house and to our father. I merely did my duty, as any proud Rosarian would. My lady, perhaps you could explain a little more? What exactly is the gift you bring? As I'm sure you know, it has long been the custom for the children of House Rosfield to be presented with certain keepsakes upon their coming of age. Indeed it has. Our father often spoke of the day when our turn would come. And had he lived to see it, he would have presented you with the treasures I bear. Matching armbands for you both. Aww. Alas, he did not live. Indeed, he was taken from us even before they could be completed. He had intended to claim the heartstone with which each armband was to be finished himself. But it was not to be. And his gifts remain incomplete. I see. It saddens me to bring them before you, as they are. It was your father's wish that you be presented with the finished articles, not these works in progress, but with his grace long since gone, and the stone left unclaimed, I had little choice. You are grown men now, and his house is yours. And while I would not presume to insist upon your claiming the heartstone in his stead, I know that nothing would have pleased him more than for you to do so. Thank you, Lady Goditha. What say you, Clive? What else? Of course, my lady. May our father's will be done. Oh, I am much obliged. Do you know where we might find this heartstone, my lady? I do. 
though it may be a matter of a good deal more than simply happening upon it. It is found in the bellies of Elder Griffins, you see. We do at least know where to find one. A certain specimen has made its nest in Titan's Wake, not far from here. A certain specimen? You are most perceptive, Your Grace. In answer to your unspoken question, yes. In fact, this is the very same beast your father meant to slay. I have been tracking its movements since you were but a boy. Oh. Were you to slay it in his stead, as men of House Rosfield, it would surely make your father proud. What say you, Joshua? What else? Okay. Gonna go kill it. Titan's Wake is to the south of here. But we must not be hasty. The good lady has been disappointed once already. Hey, how am I for stuff? Let welcome, me just have a quick welcome. Look. Yeah, not good. Anything else? Of course. A fine I just choice. feel like because we are end game now, I do worry that I'll do Take care. side missions off camera that maybe they are important there's been a lot of ones that i don't want to say that they haven't been important because that's not the case but it's more just that they've been fun and they've been for learning the world right gonna get on my chocobo run like the wind and getting to know everyone but there's just something about these ones because they're end game. I don't know. What? 33. See, like these enemies are still like not as cool as me. Cause I am level 47. Wait, I can't go that way. excited for the final boss though. I'm excited for how the game ends, but I don't want to finish the game if that makes sense. But I want to do as much as I can before I get nice to the you, end. Joshua. Okay, let's see what this thing is. What should be like level 70 and I'm like, oh, okay. Is this it? Oh, it's in level 40. It the house Rossfield. For Rossfield!
think I was getting out of the way for that one. Lady Gorotha will not. Alright, let's go back here. Yeah, there's stuff to do everywhere now. Let me know in the comments if that is something that you would like to see. If not, the next episode, it can just be us getting on with it. But I will have done everything, you know? Oh, thank the founder you were safe. The griffin is slain then? And a heartstone claimed. There you go. Yes, this radiant luster, like frozen flame, it is just as your father described it. Thank you, my lord. Your grace. Your father would be so proud. Lady Godetha, the lapidary is ready. Thank you, Cyril. I will be with him shortly. If you would excuse me, I shall have the stone cut and set forthwith. Oh, this is such a nice moment. I'm glad that I picked Joshua's mission first. The armbands are complete. Pray, take them. They are yours, after all. Heartstone is harder and more enduring than garnet, or even ruby. It symbolizes unwavering will and devotion. And the graven vines encircling the stone represent the unbreakable bonds between you. It's a message. Father knew we had enemies both inside and outside the duchy. Enemies who would thwart his vision. Only with unwavering devotion would it ever be realized. And only if we stood together as Phoenix and Shield. As brothers in arms, only then might those enemies be overcome. Indeed. His grace knew the enormity of the task he would entrust to you, his heirs. But this was more than just a message. It was a promise. That he would always be with you. Thank you, Lady Godetha, for remaining the steadfast custodian of our father's will. Forgive me, my lady, but there is something I don't quite understand. The Undying told me that after Father died, Mother claimed all of the Ducal treasures for her own. Even if the armbands were incomplete, she would surely not have overlooked them. So, how were you able to keep them from her? Because I was the Keeper of the Vault. Though I was but a lowly servant, your father spoke to me of his intentions for the bands, of the deep love he had for both of you, and his hopes for your future. In the days before the disaster at Phoenix Gate, I discovered that the Duchess had ordered her jewellery be sent away from the castle. It was then that I knew she meant to betray us. I tried to warn your father, but it was too late. When word of the fire reached Rosalith, I knew my time was short. So I took up the armbands and I fled into the night. And thank the Founder you did. Yet my duty to your father was incomplete. Not knowing what else to do, I followed the griffin, thinking I might claim the heartstone on its passing. And so my pursuit continued, until Lord Cyril appeared before me. He informed me that his grace's will had been recovered, and that his sons were alive and well. Lady Godetha, on behalf of my father and all the people of Rosaria, I thank you for your loyal service. As do I. Thank you, my lord. Your grace, for coming back to us. For giving my service meaning. I'm okay. I'm okay. <sighs> do we the get to see them? Suit you well. It must be gratifying to finally receive the inheritance that was denied you for so long. It is. And we thank you for the part you played, Cyril. 
If you would permit me to play my part a little longer, might I suggest that you make your way to your father's memorial atop Hawk's Cry Cliff? Let him see that you have received his blessing, and that his vision lives on in you. I suppose it would be churlish not to. What do you say, Clive? Shall we pay your father a visit? I think we should. I was hoping to be able to offer him my thanks before we left for Origin. Your father's helm is enshrined there. It has been since... since the day we recovered it from Phoenix Gate. I prithee claim it, for it too is a part of your inheritance, and I do not doubt that your father would prefer it in your hands than perched upon some lonely rock. Thank you, Cyril. Oh, man. Come on, Clive. Mission is a lot. He's waiting. I think it just, it makes me emotional because of the journey that these two have gone on. Yes, yes, and you. Uh, just, yeah, that journey that they've been on. And, um, oh God. How it's like coming to an end and how it just, God, just started so crazy, you know? Woot woo. Yeah. Unwavering will and an unbreakable bond. Do you really think we're strong enough? To save the world? Of course. We'll overcome father's political enemies. That I'm less certain. <laughs> Especially knowing what we know now. What mother was truly capable of. But perhaps these bands would have helped. Knowing he was with us would have made all the difference. But he was always with you, though. That's what you forget. What you don't realize. Something that I'm always very... It's just back there. Like, what I believe in, you know? All right, Chogi. I've never been here before. But I didn't know it was here. I guess I do now. Father always fought for what he believed was right. It wasn't until that night at Phoenix Gate that I realized I had never fought for anything. I always had someone else to do the fighting for me. No matter how fate conspired against him, he never lost heart, never looked back, never stopped fighting. To me, he was the greatest of men. And I've been trying to live up to his ideals ever since. We all have, Clive. We all have. And we'll keep trying. Because that's what he would have wanted. <laughs> what he would have done himself. Even if it meant standing against the very gods in the heavens. I shall be borrowing this, father, if I may. That you might watch over us. As we follow in your footsteps. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm choked. I'm choked. Oh. 
Onward then. Onward. To the end. And to a new beginning. I just... <laughs> It was just nice, you know. God, I always feel like I get so emotional with things like that because my dad is my absolute hero. Sorry. Ugh. I like that his um, statue is like far away, you know? Josh has joined the party and will remain with him until departing for origin. Ah, uh, so no more Jill then. It's just nice. I don't even know if I can read that. <laughs> If I have been here before and I've forgotten, I'm sorry. I just don't remember if I have. In loving memory of his grace, the most righteous Elwyn Rosfield, Archduke of Rosaria, conqueror of the Northern Territories, shield against the scourge of the Southern Seas, defender of the flame of the Phoenix, who kept his light burning throughout the long winter of his slumber. Now you sleep, but your flame burns still. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know if I can do any more side missions today. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if... Because I mean, that was just a side mission and that just like really tore me apart. <laughs> let me know if there's... um If you want me to do the side missions. Now, there is a lot. Let me just have a look here. So the hideaway had a lot. It was one left in Tabor. Let's have a look at Northreach. I don't want to miss anything that is crucial for my let's play, you know? Uh, just one. Okay, so just the one here. They're not even that long, necessarily, so... Yeah, maybe the next episode. Well, that's gonna kill me because I like doing them off camera. <laughs> but maybe the next episode we could run through the side missions. Let's just see what's going on here. So we got one there. Yeah, so there's two here in total, and then if we go back to the hideaway. Like, if we have any from Jill, then we, I feel like we'd have to do that on camera. So, is that guy there? Nobody's tool. Trial and error. Ugh, there is, there's quite a lot around this place. I just want to see, though. If any of them are Jill. Oh, yeah, so we've got like one for his uncle and things like that as well. So I think we should do some of them on camera. Just because I think that they might be important now that we're getting to the end of a mess, you guys. Oh gosh, just. I'm so full of love, I can't help it. <laughs> That just anytime there's like someone's passing or anything like that, it just breaks my heart every time. And even though that was ages ago, I think just when someone's like, he'd be so proud of you and things like that, it just always breaks me. And I, I don't know why, but it just does. And I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's do some side missions in the next episode. And then after that, we will make for Origin. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Sorry. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next episode. 